Searching for rare villagers can be a real pain while playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Whether you're trying the campsite method, or spending a ton of tickets doing island tours, it can seem completely random. In this video, we're going to do a little villager hunt, and I'm going to show you how to get rare villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, it's Phil. Learn more about Animal Crossing and be a better player. Do that by subscribing now, turning on the notification bell, and hitting that like button. And you guys guessed it, we found Bo. It took a whole bunch of Nook Mile tickets, 230 to be exact, but now, let the fun begin. So I started asking myself, what makes a villager rare? And how do you get rare villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons? And I know that some people do it with online trading, but I wanted to figure out a way to do it with the Mystery Island Tours. I've covered how to get rare villagers with the campsite method, and I've also covered several videos on how to kick villagers out, but I've not yet covered how to get the rare villagers on Mystery Island Tours. So for this video, we're going to be hunting for Bo. He's a deer villager species, and we're going to use the Mystery Island Tours to find him. At the time of this video recording, I'd say he's probably about above average on the rare villager scale, but I'm just using him as an example. I'm going to save my Raymond hunt for another video, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. So in the beginning, I started researching about how to get the rare villagers. I started looking around and see if there was a special trick, or a method, or something that I could use to help control the villagers that would show up in the game. And I think I found it. There's been some data mining done in the Animal Crossing community recently, and they've uncovered the logic behind the Mystery Island Tour villagers. I'm not quite sure where the original source of this data mining comes from, but I do want to give a big shout out to Alexis8717 from the AC New Horizons Discord server for sharing this information. I've put all of their information in the description of this video. But what they've uncovered is super valuable. Stick around because I want to show you exactly what they showed me. So let me explain a little bit about the campsite versus the mystery island when it comes to hunting villagers. So for the campsite method, the game is basically set up so that after 6 plus days, you hit your maximum chance of 20% to get a campsite villager to even show up on your island. And then the game checks your other villagers' personalities and tries to give you a villager that you don't already have. Again, I've covered all the details about this process in another video and the link is in the description. For the Mystery Islands though, it's somewhat similar to the campsite method, but it uses different criteria. It uses the villagers' species to cycle through all of the villagers. Now, unlike the campsite, you can guarantee that you'll get a villager to show up on a Mystery Island tour by kicking out another villager and or having the open house plot on your island. So first things first, I've got to get rid of a villager. So I'm going to kick someone out using my recommended time travel method and here it is at a high level. You time travel 31 days ahead, you load the game, and you look for the thought bubble over the villager's head. If it's not on the correct villager, then just time skip one day forward. Repeat this until the thought bubble moves to the correct villager. And then once you find the villager that you want to kick out, have the move out conversation and kiss your little villager goodbye. Now let's jump over and let me show you what the data mining community has showed me. Alexis created a villager calculator website and here's what it says. So the logic says that I would have at least a 50% chance of getting bow since I only have one other deer villager species on my island. But the caveat is that I'll have to spend 250 Nook Mile tickets to have at least a 50% chance of finding bow. And I'd have to spend at least 850 Nook Mile tickets to have a 90% chance of finding bow. You guys guessed it, we found Bo. It took a whole bunch of Nook Mile tickets, 230 to be exact, but now, let the fun begin. Hey. 
So how do you get rare villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Well, I can tell you, it's not a fancy dance with the dodos in the airport. You can increase the odds of finding a specific villager by increasing the amount of that species on your island. So in other words, the more cats that you have on your island, the more likely you are to find Raymond on a mystery island tour. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's take a look at this calculator, and this is the way that it loads up by default. It's going to start with alligator 0 and 10 for your mile tickets that you want to use for your mystery island tours. So let's change this over to cat species, and we want to simulate that we're going to be searching for Raymond. We're going to pretend like we don't have any other cats on our island, and we're going to also use just 10 nut mile tickets for this example. And as you can see, you have a 0.12% chance of finding a specific cat per nook mile ticket. And if you use 10 nook mile tickets, then you have a 1.2% chance of finding, uh, it says chance of encountering said villager. So what that's saying is that you have a 1.2% chance of finding a specific cat uh, with, with 10 nook mile tickets. So let's just uh, start changing the odds here. Let's, let's uh, switch around the calculator. And as you can see, we can just do this drop down and let's increase it to say 5. And I just want to do this for an example purpose. So you can see you have a, it went from 1.2 to 1.6. Okay, it's not a lot, but it does increase your chances of, of getting um, uh, that specific cat villager that you want. And then, I'll, of course, if we bump this up to say, I'm just going to do a, I'm just going to jump way up there and do 500. So now we can see that if we had five other cat villagers on our island with 500 nut mod tickets, we have a 50% chance or more to find Raymond. So that is definitely a strategy that I'm going to be using as I'm going on my uh, villager hunt for Raymond very soon. Uh, and then, of course, if you bumped it up to the, to the maximum, um, then you can see your chances increase per nook mile ticket. And uh, if you use 500 nook mile tickets, then you would have a 63% chance of finding uh, Raymond. Now, something I want to point out here is you're probably thinking, well, my chances are extremely low to find Raymond. And it's maybe kind of discouraging you to, to do this. But let me point something out. So with the cat villager species group, there are 25 cats total, including Raymond, in that particular particular species group. And so what that means is that the game has to cycle through 24 other cats before, well, potentially cycle through 24 other cats before it gives you Raymond. Now, if you're if you're hunting for another villager species, say like for example, let's look up the octopus and we're going to search for marina and let's reset everything back to defaults. And you can see right away you automatically bump up to almost a full percentage point chance per nook mile ticket. If you're using 10 nook mile tickets, then you have almost a 10% chance of finding Marina. That's a pretty good, pretty good chance, honestly. Um, if you were to bump this up to say, say that you had one other octopus villager already on your island, then uh, your chances jump up well above 10%. Now, if you were to actually consider hunting for Marina and you had you know, a good amount of Nook Mile tickets to use. If we used 50 Nook Mile tickets, then you have a 50% chance of encountering Marina on a Mystery Island tour. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good chance. Let's quickly look at what it was for Bo. For Bo, he's a deer villager, and I've, I've got one other species on my island, and I had, um, I believe it was 250 Nook Mile tickets is what I had my target goal set to. And as you can see, I've got a 0.32% chance um, and per, per nook mile ticket and then with 250 nook mile tickets I have over 50% chance and I actually found Bo with 230 nook mile tickets so this calculator is pretty accurate I will say and that's kind of the whole purpose why I did the videos because I wanted to show you guys what kind of technique that you could use to find the villagers that you want is by increasing the amount of villagers that you have on your island if I would have had um, say two other villager types on my island you can see the the chances of me finding it uh, finding bow increase so as I continue forward three four five you know you can see my chances are increasing and so I'm definitely going to use this method as I move forward you know technically speaking there are no rare villagers in Animal Crossing some villagers are simply considered to be rare because of how difficult it can be to get them I think that you just saw that with the calculator and looking at how the game actually works 
it can be extremely difficult to get Raymond because of there's so many uh, other cats in his species group. Come over and check out my Discord server. It's growing so fast and we are having a ton of fun over there. And if you want to learn more about how to get more villagers or how to kick out villagers, then check out this video or check out the playlist that's on your screen right now. And if you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe.